I'm gonna wait a second. Lighter. All right, so just in case somebody brings this up on that last video, I'm going to address it. So again, this is not representative of how you're cooking foods in these cooking sprays. So you would be spraying it on a pan and then you'd be heating it up while you're cooking the food and then cooling it down. Um, so of course, when you spray the spray directly onto a pan a few seconds later, that butane gas um, could still be around there and it will ignite. I'm gonna demonstrate this more closely to cooking conditions. So I'm gonna spray some of, I have some Pam Original. I'm gonna spray it on a pan. I'll try to light it just like he did right away, see what happens, and then I'll wipe that up. I'll spray it again. I'll heat it up for a little bit, uh, turn the, the flame off, and then I'll let it cool down. And then I will try to light it again and we'll see what happens. All right, so I just have some Pam Original here. I'm going to spray it on the pan, let it sit for just a few seconds, and then I'll try to light it. All right, so you can see that butane gas was still around there and it ignites. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe that up and I will spray some more on there. I'll do even a little bit more. I'm gonna turn the flame on here, you can see. I'll just let that sit for, I'll turn it on even a little higher. I'll let that sit for about 30 seconds. I'll turn it off, let it cool down a little bit. Um, and then we will see what happens. Right, so I literally just heated that up for about 30 seconds. I turned it off, let it cool down just a little bit. And nothing. So that butane gas has dissipated and that was obviously even less time than you would be cooking food. So again, spraying this directly onto a flame or even spraying it into a pan and then lighting it right away. All that's showing is that that butane gas is in the process of dissipating into the air. Once you allow it to dissipate by letting it just sit there or heating it just for a little bit, you can see that the butane has dissipated so much that it does not ignite anymore. Now, of course, this demonstration does not prove either way whether those propellants would leave residues in foods that would actually need to be tested for. And it has been tested for, like I showed in the last video, the European Commission has looked at that data and said that it does not pose a safety risk.